Hello, today I'm going to be showing you how to um, install Ubuntu with Windows using Wubi. This will dual boot Ubuntu with Windows and technically install it inside Windows. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to open your Internet Explorer or whatever you have for a web browser and type in ubuntu.com. You'll go to their home page. You're going to click on Get Ubuntu and you're going to click on download and install and we're going to go by number one right here um, so here are download options if you want to get it you can get 11.04 which is the latest version or 10.04 which is the last version that they released well not really last the last one was 10.10 .10, but 10.04 is the other version they released um, so you get 11.04 um, which is the latest version now there's two you can choose here, 32-bit, which is recommended, or 64-bit. Now, the way to know if you have 32 or 64-bit, you just go to your computer and right-click and press Properties. Now, a window is going to open up that looks like this. Um, if you have Windows Vista 7, it does this, not um, XP, no. But it's going to show this, and it's going to show Windows 7 Professional. That one's going to say System Type. It says 64-bit operating system right here so once we know that we know now to choose 64 bit and then once you're ready you click start download now when the download starts it's going to download in ISO so while this um, file is downloading you're going to want to go to open a new tab on your web browser and go on Google and type the search um, daemon tools then you're going to click on daemon tools I'll have a link for this but in case you want to follow this you might you want to you can and then um, click on daemon tools light and then just download it um, now the thing is um, once you install it and stuff like just download it it'll say uh, uh, watch out just click on a little blue link here don't click on this don't click on this there's a bunch of like download now links all over the place because they want you to click on them obviously but click on the little blue one that says downloads this is a legit download you click on it and it'll download the program I already have it so I don't need it but once you do download it it's gonna ask you to restart your computer do not restart it restart it um, when you're done downloading Ubuntu the ISO um, then restart it and then come back to this video um, and when you come back I'll explain the rest you should be back by now <laughs> okay um, so here we are Damon Tools Lite it should be you should have a little icon like this on uh, the bottom of your toolbar once you install Damon Tools and restart your computer you're gonna right click on it and click on virtual devices and you're gonna click on mount image. See what I, see what I just did? Make sure you see it again. You go to virtual devices, and then it's gonna say like, uh, let me on mount one to show you what exactly what it says. You go to virtual device. You right click on it, virtual devices, and it's gonna say device zero or one, whichever one you have. It's gonna say no media. You click on mount image. Now you're gonna go to your downloads. Um, your downloads, uh, whatever. Click on whatever you saved the Ubuntu ISO. For me I save it in downloads somewhere around here. Yeah right it's right here. Is that it? Let's see. Okay, it's right here. We're gonna click open and then it's gonna open this, the Ubuntu menu. This is one that's mounted. Now this is once you mounted everything and all that. Um, you mounted once you mounted your disk by clicking on it, by searching on it on Daemon Tools. Make sure it's already done downloading. You're gonna see this. Now you're gonna have three options: demo and full installation, install inside Windows, or learn more. You're gonna want to do your second option, which is the Wubi installer. Now I'm gonna install it on my D drive, and um, you can install it on any drive you want. Usually. Your C drive, I don't know why this is here. Your C drive is usually your main drive, and your D drive is usually a secondary drive that you have. Most computers have a C and D drive. If anything, to find out what your main drive is, just look at the drive that has the 
um, Windows logo on it and the drive is blue instead of this silver one with no Windows logo. This is your main drive and this is your secondary drive. And you can even have third and fourth drives depending on how many hard drives you have in your computer. I chose my D drive because I have 40 gigs here free. And then installation size is going to be the size of Ubuntu. Um, the minimal is 3 and the maximum for me is 30. I recommend installing, you know, 30 or 25 or at least like 10 or something. You're going to you're gonna want to have at least like 10 gigs. I'm going to install 30, which is the max you can do. For desktop environment, I'm going to choose Ubuntu because that's the only one that's there. For language English, username, you can change it, but it, it gets your Windows username. See? And it turns it here. For mine is Danny. For your password, you have to type in a password. Maybe you might want to put your computer's password and install that's it now it's installing Ubuntu directly onto your computer so once this is done which it'll be done soon which, you know let me cancel this now I don't need it so let's just wait for this to finish installing and I'll come back to you when it's done okay it's done and um, this is what happens when it's finally done it'll say completing the Ubuntu setup wizard you need to reboot to complete the installation it has reboot now and I want to manually reboot later. You manually reboot later. So that's it, you're done installing Ubuntu. Next time you reboot or just turn off and turn on your computer, you're gonna have two options, Ubuntu or Windows 7. Simply use your arrow keys to look up and down um, for each option. Um, and then press enter on Ubuntu and it's gonna install it and you have it do with Windows 7. So whenever you restart your computer, You'll have Ubuntu um, with Windows 7 together, and you, like I said, you press Enter, which wherever one you want, you have to use the arrow keys to move up and down, and press Enter, and that's it. Ubuntu's on Windows 7, and if you ever don't want Ubuntu anymore and they just want to get rid of it, simply boot up Windows, go to Control Panel, go to Uninstall a Program, and simply look for Ubuntu here, and right-click on it and press Uninstall. And then it's going to come up and says, are you sure you want to uninstall? That's it. That's how to uninstall it. So thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to get Windows uh, and Ubuntu booted using the Ruby install.